Okay, so uh, we are going to be doing this classic magnesium oxide, so magnesium to magnesium oxide, this classic lab. Uh, what I've done here is uh, we have our standard setup, crucible, okay. uh, clay triangle, uh, nichrome versus the stainless steel. Uh, I prefer the stainless steel, of course. Okay. Uh, support stand, base, traditional Bunsen burner, uh, and we're using wide, um, a wide mouth stout, you know, um, crucible, wide form. Okay, uh, magnesium. I have some 220 grit sandpaper here that we are going to um, polish the magnesium. So it's going to go from this black to the, hopefully this shiny uh, metal. So this is what uh, standard magnesium should look like when it's uh, fresh. I have an analogical balance. I'm going to tear that off. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an initial weight. I'm going to be, um, you know, placing everything down over here. Uh, I hope you guys excuse. I should probably be wearing a full um, uh, set of goggles, right? Um, that's technically what I should be doing. Uh, but these are uh, fog free, and I always weigh um, the cost benefit of that. With this particular lab, eye safety, um, being able to see it as well, um, overlights, and this does have a pretty good wrap around as well. No splashing liquids pretty much. If anything is going to fall, it's going to fall straight down. Uh, things aren't necessarily going to be coming upwards. There'll be a little bit of smoke. That's it. I'm going to be uh, just, you know, doing my normal uh, lab notebook. You know, that's not there, a lab notebook. But I'm going to be taking all my notes on a sheet, sheet of paper. I'm not going to be using, um, you know, um, uh, I'm not going to be using uh, a duplicate, you know, carbonate or anything like that. I don't need to do a duplicate. So that's that. Okay, I'm just going to sort this out a little bit. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I'm going to weigh it out. I've already put my uh, mass on there. So there it is. Um, I am going to uh, light this up to uh, start heating this up and I'm going to be placing all my uh, hot stuff on this uh, ceramic disc, uh, ceramic plate, spot plate here, okay? So uh, what I tend to use is I like to use this guy right here. It's just a standard uh, little like electric thing. It's a little weak, so let's just see if I can get it to work. Uh, I'm going to make a slight adjustment on this one. Okay, so let me just see if I can make a slight adjustment. There we go. So I just made a slight adjustment. So I'm going to light this up again, making sure that I hear gas. No gas there. Now I'm going to open this up. I normally do is when I open it up this is fully open and then I just hold my um, fingers over top of it and that will light it up so uh, I tend to do three finger distance you know so like this it's easy three okay maybe a tight but easy three okay and I'm just warming that up uh, and I want to do it so that you know what let's get that right there okay uh, so I'm gonna weigh this out Looks like it's 0 0.1910. Okay. And how I normally measure is I take my finger, unroll it, and I know that it needs to be the length from base, from thumb to tip here, right? So just longer than my index slightly. Uh, and that's going to get about uh, 0.2. Okay. Uh, to coil. Uh, I find that coiling, I'm just going to put it right on top of this, right on my, uh, my pencil. And then I'm going to just slowly just kind of spring it out. Okay. And I think that's pretty good. 
you don't want to necessarily get into a nice little ball. Obviously, you want to increase the surface area as best as possible. Uh, what's going to contact onto the uh, disc. So I'm trying to get as much of the contact possible. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to drop it just like that. Okay. Um, so what we're doing right now is just uh, heat this up, uh, and it's uh, it's relatively new. Uh, it's telling me to put it on for five minutes. I am not going to be doing that. It says partially open, right? I am not going to be doing that. Uh, we're trying to uh, dry these off, right? We're trying to dry uh, these uh, off. So technically, that is uh, the standard for this. Most people are going to say this is way too hot. I like this. Uh, it works for me. Okay. Um, I could turn it down slightly. Uh, I tend to always adjust. Uh, not from here, uh, but at the Bunsen burner itself. Uh, this needs to be full on, and we're going to rely on the needle valve on the Bunsen burner. So, one of the reasons why I really do like this guy right here is because I can actually use this uh, on here and it will um, deflect enough of the heat the biggest issue though the biggest issue is that on an analytical scale okay, on an analytical scale what happens is that it's going to overload the analytical scale so what I have to do is actually go to a standard um, 0.1 gram scale uh, and that's what I do. So I use a 500 gram scale. And so I'm going to bring one of those uh, up here. Now remember, uh, just uh, so that we can be rem uh, you know, reminded that what I did um, was I actually took um, and got a measurement of 0.1910 uh, um, from the flame magnesium here. And then I'm going to do this, but this is actually going to be, uh, you know, um, the uh, a kind of a, a, a check. Okay. Uh, the scale is essentially just going to let me get uh, some generic measurements uh, kind of in line. So what I do is I take this uh, plate, drop it right down on here. Okay, you guys are going to yell at me. Uh, if you guys are watching this, probably put a lot of comments down in here about this. Uh, I find that this is perfectly fine. This is uh, heat resistant enough and it has enough heat capacity uh, for the uh, general measurements that I'm going to be doing. Okay, I'm going to bring this just a wee bit closer. Okay, that just uh, minimizes the amount of distance that I have to travel. Okay, and we're going to take this guy and put it down here just in case. I'm going to get any of the other crucibles out of here uh, just so that I don't get confused. Magnesium ships out of here as well. So those are my spares. So I think I'm good to go. Uh, for those who would like to uh, see what the magnesium looks like, hey, little ship right here, just going to ignite that up. So that's what that looks like. Okay. So essentially that's what we're going to be creating. Okay. And then this white powder, right? that's the magnesium oxide. And we uh, notice that it goes from a stream echo, regular, uh, you know, flexible metal, flexible metal, right? To a very brittle powder. So uh, this is good to go. Uh, I'm going to get some masses on it and again what I'm trying to do is get a mass um, where it is technically 0 0.005 I believe is what the scholar camp. Um, I have my students ask for uh, 0.1 okay so it's 38.02 so actually hundreds of a scale so the first measure is 38.02 that's empty
I mean, I'm not anticipating a huge amount of change. So one of the issues that you have, uh, if you continue to let it cool down, your mass is going to um, change. Uh, uh, it just takes too much time. It takes too much time uh, to do. And so we're going to be taking these measurements while they're hot. Uh, so we took an initial measurement with cold. We'll do our final measurement um, cold as well. But these intermediate measurements, uh, we're going to do um, essentially hot, okay? Um, and that is uh, the sacrifice that we have. So 37.96. I'll make sure that it says zero, zero each time. Uh, and I'm putting my uh, people palms um, on the ceramic plate, just in case if it did absorb any of the heat, uh, I can be aware of that. Uh, just doing a little bit of cleanup here. I have a couple of uh, strips of uh, magnesium. We take the measure of the entire system together with the magnesium in it. You theoretically you want to have this uh, completely cool, okay? Um, and uh, I probably should have masked um, this particular crucible on uh, this. So what I'm I'm going to do is ah, it's already too hot, um, and I'm not going to let this cool. So uh, we'll see if this uh, survives. Um, You know what? No, I'm going to uh, leave it. Uh, I got an analytical amount of the magnesium in there. Um, we'll s we'll uh, go from there. Hmm. Mm hmm. What I am going to try doing okay, is, uh, we'll see what happens. Is I put um, this on here. So 37.95.39. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to see what that is. So what we did before is 37.96. And we got 37.96 as well. Uh, 37.97, 37.97. So uh, I think that that is a pretty good agreement. So 0.01. Not bad at all. And again, what I was doing, uh, I just tried to elevate that uh, to do that. So 37.97, that's a good solid temperature. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so it's cooled off a little bit. You know what I'm going to do this one as well. Because I found out that it worked. Okay, I'm going to take my magnesium, drop that in there. Okay, 3816. Okay. Liverpool, uh, 38.16 grams with mg and crucible. Okay, I'm going to transfer this over. So the scholar chem actually says to keep on, you know, uh, you know, turns on, turns off the uh, burner. I do not.
eighteen hundred. Okay, so that thirty uh thirty eight eighteen hundred. Thirty-eight seventeen, thirty-eight uh, 38, eighteen hundred. So thirty-eight seventeen right now. So uh, essentially, it was thirty-eight sixteen before. Thirty-eight seventeen, thirty-eight eighteen hundred. I'm going to be uh, pretty good. Thirty-eight seventeen. So we're we're in there. Okay. Uh, so now what we're going to do? Uh, so uh, scholar chemist uh, scholar uh, uh, um, tells me to start uh, heating it up. Okay. And then uh, what we're going to do? is leave it partially open. So it does say to heat up uh, at a low flame. Okay. At a low flame. Mm, technically it's not low flame. What I can do though is I can open it up so it's not the super uh, hot flame so that the um, you know the head of the flame, the highest part, is a little bit um, it's essentially not there anymore. So uh, this is where um, you know all our procedures kind of differ. Um, I tend not to just you know chill out here and relax. Okay, I like uh, getting this uh, temper you know at temperature. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring you over here. Okay. So bear with. And so that is sorry about that is essentially what's happening right now. So I'm going to try. See if you can get a nice little picture here. Good, not hot. Okay, so that is what that looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over here. I apologize for this, all this noise. Okay. So what we've done is uh, I've moved you around. Uh, we're going to be trying as careful as possible. Uh, I it seems clear enough. Hopefully it will stay that way. Okay. And I'm just going to move this out and uh, move this so that hopefully you can see it. And I'm going to just touch it like that. Okay. So yeah, that looks great. So we're going to take a look at this. Just let this go. What I think I'm going to do is stop and then restart this, okay?